Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of J Bros Cooking. Is it an I'd eat that? Is it an I'd eat that? Is it a cooking? I don't know. We're in some limbo fusion land in between, I guess. I guess we're stuck in between. Our editor is under the weather, and so yeah. we were left out to do it on our own. Now, Joe is good with the camera setup and microphones and all that stuff, but the Editing's getting left to me, so we'll see what happens. We'll include a little uh, clip. We um, we cool down our our uh, our iPhone. Yeah, because when it's 115 in Phoenix, even when you're in the car, these phones heat up real fast. Very fast. Okay, so Joe sent me a video the other day. Now uh, we are obviously, you know, we're food guys, so. You know, on the social media, that's a lot of what we follow. Other other food people, other reviewers, other uh, cooks, chefs, whatever they want to call themselves. So Joe sends me a video. He's like, dude, this looks good. And uh, now this guy, he's, you know, he's got a pretty good following. He's not quite like J-Bro status, but... He's not quite up to like 5,000 subscribers like we you are. You know, I mean, he, he put, I think it was a TikTok video he put out. And uh, he's, he's based out of California, yeah. LA area. And uh, he's at a Panda. And he's like, pretty much, you go in, you order your food, everything you would order off the menu from Panda now, you can get as a burrito. So Joe's like, uh, we got to review this, right? Let's so I look it up. Wouldn't you know? Only two locations are offering it because it's probably a trial. And they are, of course, both in LA. California, LA area. And we're from Phoenix. And I know everyone just thinks it's like right there, but it's really not. Yeah, we're like, that's kind of a long drive for a, a panda burrito. We said, well, what are we going to do? Next best thing. So, what do we do? We went to Panda. We went to Panda. We got mm -hmm. some fried rice. What's this stuff, Joe? Um, I don't eat it. Chow mein. Chow mein. If that's not right, that's, I think that's what they call it. I believe so. Teriyaki chicken and the Beijing beef because it's got a little bit of spice. Beijing, I think it's Beijing. Beijing, Beijing. I don't speak it, so I don't know. Either way, I'm sure we're saying it's wrong. And then uh, we went ahead and we picked up our own tortilla shells. Tortilla shells, tortilla wrappers, tortillas, I guess. Anyways, we got them sitting up here on the dash in the sun, getting nice and heated up. So what are we doing today? We're building our own panda burrito. Mm. Like we said, it's not quite cooking. It's not quite a review. We're probably going to review it either way, but we're somewhere in the limbo land of in between and we're excited. All right, I think we got to turn the air on real quick, guys. Yeah, we're going to pause break right now because I'm sweating. All right, building our panda burrito. So, Joe, this is going to be your burrito. What do you want in it? I want some rice. Oh, I want some Beijing beef. And do they give you any onions? I actually like the onions from there, which I'm not a huge onion fan. They do. All right. Throw in some of that teriyaki chicken. All right, put a whole packet of chili sauce on there. Half the thing of soy sauce. Chipotle, are you hiring? Because my brother needs help when he had a roll of burrito. It's what we call assisted living. All right, let's get it, Joey. That's pretty. That knife's fresh, that's sharp. That's a Kershaw. I'm saying that right. I don't buy expensive knives because I always them. Want the burrito? Ooh, yummy! All right. Look at this. Look at that, guys. Look at that. Mm. Ooh. Panda burrito. All right. I'm rocking the Beijing teriyaki, little chili sauce, and fried rice. I got the fried rice, chow mein teriyaki chicken and the Beijing beef. Same thing with the addition of chow mein. Let's go in. Let's Going go. in. Let's go for that bite. Mm. That right there, that's what I call a pre-stomach surgery bite. That's probably a mistake. All right, guys. I'm going to be honest. This is actually a really good burrito. Um, if you're a Panda fan, and you're like excited, you have seen that video, it's not available where you're at, this is definitely a good choice. I will say the one thing that we did just because that made it a lot harder is the fact that we're shooting it in the car. Yeah. But it's just, you know, it's kind of like we said, we're kind of a fusion between where are we at, are we reviewing, are we cooking, so we did it in the car. You did this in your house, this would be super easy, but 
for the two entree plate, um, I think we paid $10 out the door and about another three, four bucks. I think like two and change, actually like three, three dollars for the tortilla. So probably put some char on it. Like if you have a frying pan or something, yeah. Throw a little something, like a little all. You don't even have to. Just throw a little nonstick, you know, just yeah. throw a little heat on I it. I like that. It adds a little bit of flavor. But honestly, I was, it, the tortillas really did heat up being on yeah. the dashboard, you know. In fact, so, there's a guy, I think he's out of Phoenix. He cooks stuff like through his window on his through dashboard. His window, yeah, I've seen that. I saw him on the news the other morning and um, I, 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 I should have looked him up and said his name because he has like a big channel and he actually cooks like on burgers his, and Yeah, I've seen stuff. that. Yeah, so it's, it's a pretty cool thing. So there's a lot of heat coming through. They are nice and warm. I mean, toasty's always better, though. Yeah. We're not actually getting that toast on them. But, yeah, it's a, they this is a real nice, deal. But I'm really, not going to actually give it a star rating, though. Yeah, because it's not like we... It's not... They, they, they didn't make it. Yeah, we didn't so really make Panda. it. We it's haven't Panda. reviewed Panda. Have we ever done I don't think we... I don't think we have. But what we're saying is if you're a Panda fan, get out there. I mean, and you want to try this because, like, for 10 bucks, like, now we put... we These are some big tortillas that I bought. You bought, like, the next size down... Um, we had enough easily for three of these size burritos, but you could have got like four burritos. And if you think about it that way, like trying to feed your family, um, and Who's trying to feed their family with a Chinese burrito. I, I mean, <laughs> I don't know what I'm just saying. I'm giving it a thumbs up, two thumbs up, two thumbs up from us. We won't actually give it a, uh, a, uh, numbered rating, but, uh, very good. And when we get to the LA area, if it's still available or if it becomes available here, we will definitely go try it and get definitely you, a, get you the, the official review yeah, on Yeah, we'll that. do an official review if it ever shows up in Phoenix. But for now, Panda Burrito, I'm not even sure what it's called, but that's what we're calling it, the Panda Burrito. Make it yourself. Make it yourself. It's And it's good. It's worth it. Uh, go ahead and give us a like and a subscribe. We appreciate if you follow all of our social media. We're pushing 5,000 subs. Sometimes it's over, sometimes it's under. So We're right there. Yeah, if you want to help us, please give us a sub. We'd greatly appreciate it. Because you know what? You hit subscribe, and you know what? In two years, we're saying we're almost at 5 million, guys. You know? So it's like, <laughs> come on, you know? And this might not be the best. So if this is like, my wife usually edits everything. It's pretty high quality. John's editing well, this well, one. Well, well, well. What are we trying to say? John edits the shorts, so like, if you ever like want to see the difference, look at the shorts and then look at the other stuff, and you go like, oh wow, that's why those are lame. Anyways, I'm not really sure how to wrap this up because normally I would say, normally I'd say it's always better when you sort of make it yourself. Hey, that'll work. J Bros out. Air Joe, we need air.